I got you. Yeah. I, I, I will, I will defend my brothers. I will defend the weak. I will pursue and fight evil so others may sleep. I am the sheep dog, protecting the night. Wolf hunters unite. Bring it all. It's time to fight. As that alarm clock beeps and wakes you from your sleep, pull back the sheets. It's time to hit the streets. Dudes, fresh shave your face. Girls, put up your hair. Back breaking and aching from the equipment that you wear. Face to face with your locker. Strapping on your vest. Pray to God it'll block a hollow point from your chest. Join up with the squad. That's the crew of the night. Here again, our evil man took another life. Got a price on your head, brother. Better beware. Load up that Glock. And Hello, YouTube, and welcome back. This is going to be another tutorial from Officer Haleykins, and in this tutorial, we're looking at the DLK HD Atlas map for 5M, which is right up here, and installing this into our LSPDFR single player game. This is great because then you get street names in your map when you pull up your pause menu map. Useful if you don't know all the street names in the game. Also useful if you just want to learn the street names so you can play on 5M and you're able to more accurately detect where you're at to other players. With that being said, let's get started. First of all, guys, download OpenIV if you don't have it already. I'm going to assume you guys already have OpenIV installed and set up, so I'm not going to go into that. Second of all, we're going to go download the Atlas map. We're going to navigate to dialightkane.com. That's his website. And we're going to do a direct download on the DLK HD Atlas map for 5M.zip. Once you have that downloaded, make sure you extract it to your desktop or anywhere, and you're going to have this folder. Once you have this folder, go ahead and open it up. And we're going to navigate into Citizen, Common, Data, UI, and we're going to pull out Map Zoom Data. Meta. Once you have that, I want to actually copy and paste it out. Once you have that out, you're going to go back to Platform, Citizen Platform, Data, CD Images, and you're going to again copy and paste out the Scale Form Generic folder. Once you have that, you're ready to rock and roll. Go ahead and open IV. Or right, go ahead and open open IV. And while this is opening, guys, um, if you guys have tutorials you want to see, let me know. I'm not big on doing tutorials. I like to do them. I just I can never find content to make tutorials on. And as you guys may have noticed, I struggle to slow down when I speak. I speak very fast. And it's a challenge for me to slow down so I'm not slurring words together or things like that. It makes it difficult to do a tutorial successfully because I seem to zip right through it with how fast I'm talking. So I know it's harder to understand me. And please note that I am, uh, I am working on this. Once your open IV is open, you're going to go into mods, common.rpf, data, UI, and you're going to find map zoom data dot meta. Now, as a security measure, I like to go into edit mode and either delete the original or drag it out to a folder in your desktop called like backup or something. I already have this Atlas map in my game, so I'm not too worried. I'm going to go ahead and delete this file and we're going to drag this one in so I can see for a fact that it's now in my game and it did change. You do not have to delete it. It's just something I personally do. So I know for a fact that a change was made. So now that we have our map zoom meta or map zoom data dot meta. Man, that's a tongue twister. We're going to go ahead and go back. And we're going to go back again and then back one more time. When you're in your mods folder, now we need to access X64B. If you don't already have X64B in your mods folder, then go out to your GTA 5 main directory, navigate all the way down to the bottom here, and you're going to see all your X64 lettered folders. You're going to find X64B. You're going to navigate to data, CD images, scale form generic now i already have it in my mods folder but if you don't have it in your mods folder 
and you're in edit mode, up here you're going to see a message that says copy to mods folder. Do not make any changes in any files outside of your mods folder. If you do that, not only do you overwrite the default so you have no way to fall back if something goes wrong, you also can end up corrupting your game and requiring a complete reinstall of the game. With that being said, I'm going to click show in mods folder, which will take us right to our mods folder. Now that we're in scale form generic, we're going to type minimap. And this is just to make sure that we have all of our minimap files in here. So with that being said, we have 13 files in here total. We have 13 files in here total. We are in edit mode, so I'm going to go ahead and again, for my sake, delete these 13 files and I'm going to drag these 13 files over. And that's it guys. We now have a fully functioning Atlas map in our game. And it's one of those maps that will be really easy for you guys to use if you're new to the game, if you don't know the map, things like that. Let's hop into game really quick and see what we've got. All right, now we're in our game and you can see that our mini map has not changed. But if we come down here and we open up our pause menu, you can see that our pause menu has in fact changed. And we now have words over our map. So we have Route 68 labeled all the way down. We have all the streets here in Sandy Shores labeled. And I know this does not look that great. The further you zoom in, the, uh, they get a little bit mixed up here. But you can see Lesbos Lane, Marina Drive, Algonquin Boulevard, Chola Springs, Armadillo Avenue, Nyland, Zancudo, Alhambra. Same thing up here for these other ones. Grapeseed Main Street, Jode Lane. And it has them all over. Now the only place that I think this map made a mistake is they covered all the roads in the base which completely makes sense because it's a base it's all military property you know you wouldn't want that mapped out geographically um but they covered the words for lago zancudo um which is sad uh, i wish they would have put the words above that little covering they did i don't think they did anything different here with the prison yeah there's nothing on the prison road or anything like that I don't think there's a road name for this anyway. Probably like Boiling Brook Approach Road or something. Um, but yeah, guys, this is the DLK HD Atlas map for 5M. And now it's in your LSPDFR single player save. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more like this, please make sure that you uh, drop a comment. I make this content for you, uh, especially my tutorials, because it's stuff I know how to do. Um, if you want to see more, put a link down in the description for the mod and tell me you want to see an installation. Things like that. I'm out here to make content for you guys, and I'm always happy to help when you guys have problems with your GTA game. And if I can't help, there is a bunch of servers on Discord that can help you. First 30 Minutes has a great support system in his Discord, as does the LSPDFR Lounge. With that being said, guys, I hope you guys liked this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, ring the bell. And this is Officer Haleykin. I am 1 Queen 10, 1042, 10 7, out of service. Good night, everybody.